Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Mass today. It is Friday, September 4th. We are celebrating Friday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. Baptized in water, sealed by the Spirit, cleansed by the blood of Christ our King. Here's a salvation, trusting his promise. Faithfully now, God's praise we sing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Begin the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the grace and the peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And again, we ask God's mercy and forgiveness as we celebrate uh, the sacred heart of Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have failed to do. What I ask but And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, <clears throat> we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that font of heavenly gifts. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is, of course, required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes. For he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation, the salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell on the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the moon day shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right, and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed, and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. (laughs) 
And the Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. And Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece of, from an old, a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Certainly, uh, St. Paul, in his letter this morning, gives us a lot to think about. <clears throat> and he, like anybody who's in the public realm of any way, any kind, uh, always will get criticism for something. Somebody will find something to complain about. And Paul got to the point in his life where he uh, said, I'm doing the best I can. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm trying, and everything I do is for the glory of God. If someone wants to judge me, uh, so be it, but it's not going to stop me. And besides, the only one who can really judge me is God, and I'll put my, my trust in God. Good, good advice sometimes, I think. And also to judge others who don't always know what is going on in their hearts or in their lives that uh, cause them to do what they do or say what they say. And it's a lesson that I'm still at my ripe old age still uh, working on, but it's something that we have to take, take for, for granted. Of course, um, the Pharisees, every time you hear that in the gospel, you know there's something coming, you know. It's like somebody, some people you might know, you see, you see them coming, you know there's going to be, there's going to be a complaint about something. But that's where the Pharisees were. So he saw them coming, and uh, they found, even though Jesus had done so many wonderful things, curing people, and, you know, all the rest of wonderful teachings, and the promise that he is the Messiah, they still found something wrong and that was that he doesn't fast his, his followers don't fast like we do and uh, so he goes into this whole uh, idea that um you can't put new wine in old wine skins it's a, it's a good image that we know that uh, we, we do things a certain way and if we have to change sometimes it's resisted and we we in the church have certainly experienced that in our lifetimes uh since uh, vatican ii over 50 years ago, we had not changes uh, in, in never in doctrine, never in teaching. The truth remained the same, no matter what or where or when. But just maybe the way they are presented. We certainly have in our liturgy now in in English or the vernacular. That's a long time ago we started that, but um, that, was, that was a big change. But I think in our own time right now, we are we are dealing with a, a need to, to to do different things, to think differently. Uh, we uh, and you are. That's why you're here this morning. We don't like having to have everybody socially distanced and wearing masks, but it's something we have to do right now. So we have to accept that, accept that and we are. Thank you for, thank you for doing it. <clears throat> but a lot, lot of things like that. So anyway, the, the whole goal of it all is not not to resist the changes, but to uh, know that we are doing it to find more and more effective ways in a new world 
to present the word of God. And that's our goal. Our goal is to, not about ourselves, but about God and, and how we can make God and, and his son Jesus Christ real and vibrant and relevant in a very, very changing world, in a very confusing world. But that message never changed. The way we present it may, but not, not the message itself. So for that, we, we give thanks. Let's stand and offer our, our leads this, this morning. Certainly, Pope Francis has asked us to be, be Christ in different ways in the world. And he, he, he uh, witnesses, witnesses to it himself in his own lifestyle, his own value system. Let's continue to pray for his health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <clears> prayer. <throat> bishop Ambera has been uh, a, a bishop who has just been confronted with so much, but gives us so much hope uh, and an example. And by the way, today it's been proclaimed uh, a, a day of, of prayer and fasting for the worldwide for the coronavirus uh, to be eliminated. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all those who are still suffering. I know we had uh, over a thousand cases in Pennsylvania alone yesterday. I think it's 17 in Luzerne County yesterday. So we still are dealing with this great threat. Let's just pray for those who have died. Pray for those who are experiencing a coronavirus right now. And um, pray for all the safety of all of us. Pray for the safety of our of our young people going back to school, in high schools and elementary schools and colleges and universities, that they will be safe and that they will all follow the guidelines to prevent the spread of this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> and let us pray for world peace and we pray for sometimes big news stories occur and we're all praying for it and we forget that the people who experience it are still experiencing the, the results of it. So the people have experiencing that terrible explosion in uh, Lebanon a few, years, a, few, a few weeks ago, a few days ago almost, uh, that they will be safe and be able to resume their lives. And also the, uh, our own, in our own country, those who experience the devastating effects of the hurricane, the storms, that they're cleaning up now, trying to restore their lives. Let's just continue to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pause for our own intentions. <clears throat> we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we constantly ask Mary's intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Beloved Saint Faustina, we come to you today. God chose you to inspire and teach us how to pray. The blood and water flowing out from his holy side make us trust in his mercy, his mercy so divine. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who has humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Must be God forever. <clears throat> and Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> and I'll pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours <clears throat> may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, o Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you as an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over by the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you, and without end, we acclaim. Oh, holy, oh, holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior <clears throat> of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. <clears throat> and therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the religious and clergy, Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And this morning we remember all the souls in purgatory and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 <clears throat> and now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share Christ's peace with one another. Just trust in peace. Just in peace. Peace. And peace to everyone who is viewing at home. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. And may the blood of Christ <clears throat> keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. And on that day will justice triumph, on that day will all be free. Free from want, free from fear, free to live. In the day of the Lord, the sun will shine like the dawn of eternal day. All creation will rise to dance and sing the glory of the Lord. And now for our sisters and brothers praying together with us at home, <clears throat> let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. And may this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you for all those who watched us, all of us on, on the online, that we join together as the body of Christ. And have a wonderful day and stay safe. You too, Father. Thank you. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Thank you everyone for joining us this morning. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow afternoon for the Vigil Mass for the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. You all take care and have a great day now. God bless.